Mr. Stiller, do you think you could ever cannibalize someone? I mean, if you really had to. Well, as much as the very idea is abhorrent to me, I suppose under certain conditions, a living entity is practically conditioned to perform whatever extreme measures are necessary to ensure its survival. I suppose I'm no different. You've lost some weight recently, haven't you? Yeah, actually, I have. Thanks. For... <laughs> but it is amazing what some animals will do to guarantee the continuation of the species, isn't it? I mean, a creature of the one of this size must have adapted its behavior over the years to minimize its chances of being seen by its only predator, us. Just coming closer to shore for its prey must be an act of desperation on its part. Poor Quick Quick. Why did you name the dog Quick Quick? It was the name of the harpoonist in Moby Dick. My father used to read to me from Moby Dick when I was a little girl, and I called him Ahab, and he called me Starbuck. So I named my dog Queequeg. It's funny, I just realized something. It's a bizarre name for a dog, huh? No. How much you're like Ahab. You're so consumed by your personal vengeance against life, whether it be its inherent cruelties or its mysteries, that Everything takes on a, a, a warp significance to fit your megalomaniacal cosmology. Scully, are you coming on to me? It's just the truth or a white whale. What difference does it make? I mean, both, both obsessions are impossible to capture, and, and trying to do so will only leave you dead along with everyone else you bring with you. You know, Mulder, you are Ahab. You know, it's interesting you should say that because I've always wanted a peg leg. It's a boyhood thing I never grew out of. No, I'm not being flippant. I mean, uh, I've given this a lot of thought. If, if you have a peg leg or hooks for hands, you know, maybe it's enough to simply carry on living, you know, bravely facing life with your disability. It's heroic just to survive, but if, without these things, you're actually expected to make something of your life, achieve something, earn a raise, wear a necktie. So, so, so if, if anything, I'm actually the antithesis of Ahab because if I did have a peg leg, I'd quite possibly be more happy and more content and not feel the need to chase after these creatures of the unknown. And that's not flippant? No, <laughs> no. Flippant is my favorite line from Moby Dick. Hell is an idea first born on an undigested apple dumpling. Yeah. <laughs>